Mahalo to HawaiiActivities.com for sponsoring this video. For more Hawaii videos, make sure you're subscribed and click that notification bell so you're alerted every time we post a new video. Aloha, I'm Miriam and this is Yes to Hawaii. We make Hawaii videos take the guesswork out of planning your trip. As always, I'll leave timestamps in the description box below, so feel free to skip around the video for the parts that you came here for. First off, thank you to HawaiiActivities.com for sponsoring this video. We're here at Kanoe Sandbar with Captain Bruce. They do private charters as well as group charters. If you're six people or less, you can take a boat out to the sandbar for a completely fun either morning or afternoon charter. Kaneohe Sandbar is arguably one of the best things that you can do here on the island of Oahu. So what is the sandbar? The best way to explain it is it's essentially a beach in the middle of the ocean. Keep in mind, a lot of it is weather dependent. I've been out there where the tide is so low that the water is only ankle deep, but I've also been out there where the water is as high as hip deep. So how do you get there? You can get there by boat or by kayak. Pricing varies depending on the company. Last month, some friends and I went out to Kanuhe Sandbar with a private charter and it was absolutely amazing. It was just the six of us and our captain. At the time of this filming, the charter ran about $150 per person for six people. We had the boat to ourselves for three hours. They offer a morning charter and an afternoon charter. We decided to take the afternoon charter because our friends had worked earlier in the day and we wanted to have a nice sleep in. What I really liked about this company is they have a sister boat that does larger group trips. So if you don't have six people to go out on a private charter, you can also opt to do this with one or two people in a larger group charter. This larger group charter might be a more economical option, again, if you're only one or two people. We did have access to some of the toys that they had on the larger boat. One of my favorite things that we did on the charter was actually trying stand-up paddleboarding. So what do you get? You do get some light snacks such as granola bars, chips, some drinks such as water, juices, sodas, and you can also bring your own. There is a cooler on board. So what should you bring? A towel, swimwear, reef safe sunscreen and sunglasses are complete essentials to make it easy i would wear your swimsuit underneath your clothing i'd also recommend a rash guard and a hat because the sun does get really strong in the afternoon i'd also recommend a dry bag across the board i'll leave a link in the description box below for one of my favorites i have the exact same bag in a 25 liter and a 35 liter i bring the 25 liter with me on almost every single boat trip that i do just because you're on the water, your stuff is gonna get splashed or wet. It's so much easier to have a dry bag. Keep everything in there, your wallet, your electronic. I carry a lot of camera gear on any of the activities that I do. So for me, having everything nice, safe, and dry is a must. If you like this video and you're still looking for more ideas on things you can do here on the island of Oahu, make sure you check out this video for 14 of my favorite things to do on the island of Oahu and check out our playlist on itinerary ideas. I hope you guys liked this video and found it helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. And if there's any other Hawaii videos you like like to see definitely leave them in the comments down below.